morning. Welcome to the John Mayaki Show this Saturday morning. We want to appreciate you for being around us since we started this show. This morning, we want to prepare your mind towards what to expect um, in the coming week. The governor of the state, called Governor Gordon Obaseki, will be sending the list of his uh, commissioner nominees to the State House of Assembly for screening and confirmation. And so, a lot of hopes, um, there's a lot of hope that things will be fine, of course. We are expecting everything to be fine. And so all things being equal, the governor is most likely to send the list to the State House of Assembly within the coming week for screening and for confirmation. Expectedly, there will be shock from different people, from local government to local government, depending on your background especially in the PDP. It will also depend on your political affiliation. Are you of the old PDP stock or did the campaigns from APC to PDP and your professional calling? And so the shock will come in various forms. So we need to let you know so that you prepare towards that. Of course, there is hope that if you are not part of it, um, you can succeed outside government. You have been surviving without government. And so you can also survive outside, outside government. And so despite the obvious differences that we are going to see, the people will be united. And one thing, you agree with me, when the list is unveiled, we are going to be united in the shock that we will all express, all of us will express shock. From community to community, local government to local government, senatorial district to senatorial district, old PDP, new PDP, we express shock. Especially due to the common delay that the whole exercise has been subjected to. Whereas, during the electionary campaigns, Mr. Governor appointed over 200 persons without setting up a screening committee, but sent appointment letters to persons in their various homes and without prayer notice or application. But now you need to be screened and wait. I'm sure this is the 10th month, if you count well, from November when it was sworn in till August, it's about the 10th month. A lot of persons would have would turn down the list. When it is announced, a lot of persons will turn, turn down the list and say, no, this is not what we are expecting. I said, there, there, there is, the, and so the, it's not going to justify the delay. The, the list is not going to justify. The names you see on the list will not justify the delay when it is presented to the House of Assembly. And so this is because there are no new names apart from those we have, been, we, we have already known and a few others from the United States of America, from Europe, among other foreigners who never participated in the election. Foreigners who never participated in the election. And so in your local government, you, you campaigned, you did everything possible. Um, five names were sent and were screened by the committee. Those names, you won't find them. You're not going to find those names. Um, I'm sure some of you already know those guys who are interested in police already know that your name is not there. You already know. It was learned that an important aspect that is going to be missing on the list um, that is, um, is that there's not going to be sparkling or spectacular name whatsoever than what we already know. Apart from the guys coming from the diaspora, the diaspora elements, there is nothing going to be new in the list. Nothing fantastic, nothing spectacular about the list. Beside that, the list will be devoid of civil society groups. I said the governor changed his mind, civil society group will not be captured. 
especially those who owe allegiance to no political party or godfathers. Except civil society groups that already have been conscripted into government. As for civil society groups that will look at government and speak truth to power, don't expect that. And so today, don't expect me to call names. If you watch very well, if you if you listen properly, the names are available, but we're not going to divulge any name. However, I expect a mix of technocrats, politicians, and then, like I told you, the diaspora elements. Technocrat, oh, why did you not pick this? Oh, no, I want this guy to deliver for me. I want this, I want this. So, uh, whatever you guys are thinking, your local government, your senatorial district, the leader, I'm from the leader, the leader appointed me, the leader nominated me, it's not going to work. Um, the governor has to pick whom he wants to pick. In times like this, when we face monumental societal and economic challenges, I know people will be disappointed because the list contains expired and spent bullets. The list, expired, expired politicians, spent bullets. The PDP too should expect the unusual. The PDP should expect the unusual. Those who apply for the cabinet position may not suffice. Those who toiled and worked tirelessly for the re-election of the governor will be disappointed. They will be disappointed. So it's good you have, we prepare your mind towards that so that you don't, um, there, there's no much shock. You need to start building your shock absorber so that when, you, when the name is released, you are able to contain the shock and then you move on with life. And so when, when you see the non-partisan persons, non-partisan persons, from your community, you watch out. Oh, is this person not in, in, in PDP? Has this person not been with the governor? Uh, where is the name of social person? Where is he? this guy? This guy? Oh, what about that honorable? You're not going to see all those in your community, in your local government, in your senatorial district. You're not going to see that. What you see is a name somewhere in the United States. It's a name somewhere from the US, from the UK, from, from Europe. It's a name from Lagos. Or you will have different explanation for that. Don't worry. When time comes, you will get explanation from the government. More disappointing will be those who blindly engage in media propaganda and politicking. Each time people criticize the delay, they keep assuring us, oh, don't worry, the list is going to be a super nominee. It's coming with a, a, a super list, the best of best. Those guys will be disappointed. Those people who want to say, oh, the governor is doing his best, yes, don't worry. When you see the list, be prepared. You will be disappointed, but you need to keep supporting. You need to see, keep supporting the government. It was learned again that there's nothing going to be super about the list. The source, close to the government, said nothing is going to be super. And so governance will be business as usual. Expect business as usual. Appointees may not be able to contribute meaningfully to the development of the state when you have that list because you have an all knowing governor. All knowing for nine months, for 10 months, an all knowing governor. Governor's cabinet list won't justify the 10 months. The delay we have experienced so far, the list is not going to justify it. Especially being in a, a second term governor. Who should know what he wants in his second term? One week, two weeks, three weeks, a month would have been enough. Don't expect anything spectacular. One would have expected something more sparkling. Wow, this is the best. By the time the governor releases it, you're not going to see that. More sparkling names, more guys who across party lines will be commended. You're not going to see that because these are the same set of people that have been moving along with him before, during and after the election. You, you are going to find a situation, for instance, where a former chief, chief of staff could be a commissioner. After all, after all, you, you had a former speaker being a special advisor now. So you, you see things of that nature. And so you, there are guys that are, you, you, you will be shocked. We know them. So what is the reason for the delay, for instance? Since we already know these guys, what is the reason for the delay? 
it shows that there's a serious problem before he could arrive at those names. And for the reason I do not seem to understand, if anything will change, I do not see anything spectacular. What I do people expect of the governor, being a second term governor, is to have known what exactly he wants to do instead of this unnecessary delay, which kept the entire state in suspense. There's a lot of suspense in the polity. And at the end of the day, announcing names we already know, except those he plans from, to import from the diaspora, nothing is going to change. There will be no amusement. There will be no amusement when the governor announces the list. With the time it took him to make up his mind, with the time, and who he intends to work with, there will be nothing like amusement. Oh, the governor is wonderful. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. The highest thing will be, oh, this guy is from America. This guy is from UK. What is going to be? The shocking aspect of it is that it's coming from a place where you have strong guys who fought who's toiled, but again, that doesn't foreclose that you are not going to be carried, government is an elephant. So when you see the first shock, you need to be patient. You need to be patient. We need to prepare your mind towards it. So I know people are equally not going to be fascinated with the individuals on the list. We're not going to be fascinated. You, 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 you are going to confirm this in the, in the next few weeks, that there's nothing. So the delay has provoked popular debate virtually not the new tankranis of the state. Popular debates here and there, even within the PDP, even in government house as you speak, rightly or wrongly, some of the nominees are coming with toxic bag. Some of the nominees. And so why very few are in the category of what we call good men? The guys from um, the diaspora elements. Oh, the good guys, the good guys. But after the list, the battle will then start. The battle between the deputy and the governor, the battle between the speaker and, and the political allies from the different senatorial districts. The battle for 2024 will then start. Because by the time you see the list, you know that uh, trouble is coming. There are guys that um, seems can be used by some elements in the system as we speak. Those guys will not survive. They, they, they won't make the list. They are not going to make it. So you, you, you are there. We already know. The governor, the governor already know that your loyalty belongs to so so and so. You are not likely to make the list. Because he need fresh guys to to fight the battle ahead for him. He need guys who are not yes sir to that man. Guys who will not control to that guy. And so there a lot of things will be unveiled after the list. When when announced, when announced. The governor would have added more burden to his government. More burden. Since ex commissioners will be dropped and replaced with others who made huge donations, contributions from the diaspora. I know people will expect Mr. Governor Somini in the coming weeks, bearing any change in plans, and await with shock, disappointment, and disbelief. The governor has kept the people and still keeping us on the edge for nine months running to ten months of waiting anxiously. We have been very patient. And it's good we are patient. We want him to deliver on his promises. We have anxiously waited for a super cabinet. A super cabinet. Are we going to get that? A super cabinet that will steer the ship of our policy. But what we expect, what should we expect, we should expect will be the same old wines in new bottles. Giving Mr. Governor's assurance over time, the average right thinker would have expected to see the list with names of established technocrats in the roll call of academics and professionals of refuge. And there's no disputing the fact that our state has them in abundance. We have them in abundance, both within and outside the shores. But the common question on the lips of the people today has been why the long wait? Why the anxiety and hope for the best? Since we are not going to witness anything spectacular outside the status quo. Some of the nominees, for instance, will be too controversial for, for comfort. Some of the nominees you are expecting. 
will be too controversial for, for, for comfort. On a final note, now that the long-awaited list is about to be announced, even though most of the people have their reservations based on jettisoning expectations, expectations, people are no more, well, I mean, we want to call on the State House of Assembly to do the needful, shun any consideration other than the overall interest of Edo people by doing a thorough screening. Of course, do you expect anything from them? I, 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 I'm not sure. But they need to drill the nominees and not the traditional take and bow ceremony of a team. The lines are open for contribution. If you want to contribute, our lines are there on the screen for contribution. The days of just come and gone for us in Edo State, the days of come and chop, come and chop are over. It should be time to come and walk. It should be time to come and walk. Edo people are yearning for the best. We expect whoever is lucky to make the list to put up the best possible they can. Of course, one thing you should put and you should have at the back of your mind is that don't expect any magic from the cabinet. Don't expect any magic because the man who was voted for knows what he wants. And people need to work with him in that direction. If you think you know too much, um, you are likely to, to face um, the rot of the system. Don't, don't expect anything spectacular. That will be all on today's edition of the John Mayaki Show. If you have called, if you have listened to us, and you think you want to contribute, please go ahead. Because we need to prepare your mind down. We need to prepare your mind down. We need, we need to let you know that people will be disappointed. We are not going to call names of local governments. We are not going to call names of those people who have been dropped, those people who cannot make it, we are not going to do all of those. Um, our own responsibility here is to let you know that if you don't see your name there, you can wait for the special advisor list. You can wait for senior special assistant. And you can wait for special assistant. But in all of this, you, you need to know that life goes ahead. Life goes on. That government or no government, you need to live your life. You need to live your life. You, you have been surviving. We have all been surviving without government. You need to move ahead with life. And so, if you are disappointed when the leads come, don't take it too much. You need to move ahead. Face the challenges of life. If you have serious things to do, go ahead and do them. Don't wait. Keep on with your life. As we come to the end of this show, as we come to the end of this show, until we come your way again, remember that life is a gift. And every day you live to witness is an opportunity to do something great and change your destiny. Take charge and take care. Bye for now.